Gentlewoman from Arizona is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise in support of my colleague from Arizona's motion because Arizona veterans demand immediate action. At the Phoenix VA, managers and employees placed veterans on secret lists where they had to wait months to see a doctor. Even more horrifying are new whistleblower allegations that veterans died while waiting on these lists and that VA managers ordered the records altered to cover up these deaths. This is not just immoral, it is criminal. Those responsible for this disaster must be prosecuted and held accountable. They don't take responsibility for what they've done to our veterans. I call on the Phoenix VA management currently on administrative leave to resign immediately, return the bonuses they've received over the past two years and the pay they've received while on administrative leave. Ongoing audits by the VA and the VA Office of Inspector General reveal systemic problems with wait times, with the scheduling process, and with the honesty and integrity of the system. In a letter to the President sent yesterday, the Office of Special Counsel revealed that the VA's procedures for responding to whistleblower disclosures are woefully inadequate. This is totally unacceptable. VA and Congress must take action to provide our veterans the care they need now, recoup bonuses paid to VA executives who fraudulently manipulated the data, and fire VA executives responsible for these inexcusable actions. I appreciate the bipartisan work taking place to reform the VA and to provide our veterans the care that they need. In fact, I co-sponsored and voted for both House bills. But the bottom line is that there is bipartisan legislation that can help our veterans get the care they need and hold bad actors accountable right now. So that's why I support this motion to send a bill to the President's desk as quickly as possible. I yield back the balance of my time.